friends, I have three terrific sauces for you today. I have my Jack Daniels bacon jalapeno jam, my hamburger sauce, and my roasted garlic aioli. These are terrific with hamburgers, hot dogs, and many other things. So without further ado, let's get started with the jam. So first we wanna start out with the, we wanna cut your bacon into slices and you pull them apart, but I was a little lazy, so I threw it all into the pan just as it is, and I'm just going to fry this up. I figure it will separate and I can separate them as I go along, but you can make it a little bit easier on yourself and just go ahead and separate them. I did put a lid on there to actually cut back some of the splashing of the grease when you're frying bacon, it tends to pop a lot, so I just wanted to show you this is one way to stop, stop it from popping all over you. So anyway, here we go. This bacon is looking good. So once it's done, I am going to strain it on a paper towel and then we're gonna get started with all of the other ingredients. But anyway, um, I did wanna show you how we break this up. You guys, this jam is really awesome uh, on your hamburger, especially if you grill hamburgers. Um, and I put it on hot dogs as well, so it's plenty other things. So anyway. So I have left a little bit of the bacon fat in the pan and I've added some butter. I've diced up some onion and I diced up jalapeno and I'm adding that to the pan. I'm gonna season it with salt, pepper, granulated garlic. I'm gonna also add in some minced garlic and some black pepper. Um, so I'm gonna stir this to combine until it is translucent or it's done. And I'm gonna turn that fire down a little bit cause it's a little, it's cooking a little fast. So I wanna turn it down a little bit. So anyway, now that it's here, I'm adding in some honey. And if you don't wanna use honey, you can use maple syrup. And then I'm gonna add in, guess what? Jack Daniels is going in next. So you see that, you see that takeoff. So I'm gonna uh, let that cook down a little bit. And then once that gets done, I'm gonna add in some more yummy stuff like brown sugar. So I'm adding in some brown sugar and I'm gonna let this cook down until it thickens. Um, and then once it thickens a little bit and everything has married together, I'm gonna, um, but before then I'm gonna add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar to um, actually balance the sweetness of this jam. So I've added that in and it doesn't have quite amount, enough spice for me, so I'm adding in a little bit of cayenne pepper. This is actually very, uh, optional, you don't have to add that extra heat in there or you could just add an extra jalapeno in there. So anyway, this is what it looks like when it is done. So it can, once it cools down, you can put it on anything or you can put it on things as it is. So next, up next, we have the wonderful burger spread or sauce. So it's very easy to make this. Um, I have some mayo, I'm adding in some mustard, I'm gonna add in some ketchup, and I'm also gonna add in some little bit of seasoning, some salt, some pepper, and I'm going to stir to combine this. If you wanna add in a little bit of sriracha, that'll bring that a little heat up on that, so you can also add that as well, but I wanted to keep it pretty simple for uh, people who do not like heat, so I did not add that to that. Stir it to combine, and guess what? This is done, and that is very easy to make, you guys. Um, you, if you wanted to put a little spin off in there, you could always dice up some pickles and put that in there and that will be just as yummy. Um, so that's that sauce completed and done. And next I'm going to be making the roasted garlic aioli. This one takes a little bit more time because you have to roast the garlic, but it's very easy to make um, and very simple to make. So all I'm gonna do is cut the top off of the garlic and then I'm adding in, uh, once I cut that top off, I'm gonna add on some salt, some pepper, and I'm gonna add in some um, olive oil. And if you don't wanna use olive oil, you can also use avocado oil or grapeseed oil. Both of those would be great, but I'm using olive oil. And then I'm going to put this in the oven and let it roast on 350 for about, uh, I wanna say about 15 minutes. Um, but you can also slow roast it and bring the temperature down to maybe 300 or 250. So anyway, it is done and I have taken it out of the pods and this is what it looks like and I have already started smashing this. Unfortunately, my didn't have my camera placement in a very good spot, but as you can see, this is all I'm doing is just smashing all of that up until it's really, pliable and it will mix in very well with the mayo. So I'm adding some mayo and some 
a Cajun seasoning and then I'm gonna start to combine that. And like I said, this is very easy because this is all that it is to making this sauce as well. So I'm gonna give you a quick look of, at that. You guys, I wanna thank you for watching my video and as always, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos. Thanks for watching, goodbye.